Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa and an Autodesk certified instructor. In this video, I'd like to share a workflow for restricting the rotation of a cylindrical joint. Recently in class, I was showing users how to assemble this, and I was trying to think of how to apply joints to prevent this thing from spinning as it slid up and down the axis, because obviously the cylindrical um, joint would be a proper type, but it still allows that spinning, and I wanted to see what I could do to restrict that. So uh, let me show you what I've done. Uh, using the joint, I'm going to typically assign it how you would, just kind of grab the cylindrical or the, that point that marks the center axis of that piston, and grab the hole that is the opening there and grab that center point. And just because of what I picked and how the software kind of reads it, it assumes a, a rigid joint, which is not what I want. I want a cylindrical one. Cylindrical one will allow it to slide and spin. So I want to lock down that spinning. So I'm going to align the side of this object here with uh, the side head here as being the kind of the initial or the position, uh, the orientation I want to use. I'm going to go to the limit box. And my initial thought was, well, if I just say zero across the boards, uh, it would allow it to, to slide but not spin, keeping everything at zero. But I found what happens there is that it allows it to spin because it goes clockwise from zero to zero or counterclockwise from zero to zero. What I can do here, though, is on my end value, I can put point zero zero one. Uh, I don't know if any of you other users have seen this, but there's lots of times in Inventor where you want something to be as close to zero as possible, or, or it needs to be zero, but an inventor's not going to like that value, so you kind of use a, a generic value. For me, it's point zero zero one, something that would probably never show up on a drawing, but and the, and you can't really tell that it's it's there, but it is it is actually there, and the software uh, understands that. So once I say OK to this, you can see here now I can slide this object up and uh, down the axis, but it won't spin. It, it is actually rotating that 0 .001 degree, but you'll never, ever see that. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.